Right. Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. So I hope that you guys are in a good uh, condition. Uh, after we are having our first wave of flood uh, somehow in Kuala Nerus and part of uh, Trunganu uh, since three days ago. So we, ho we hope that the weather will be uh, on our sides for, for the next few days. Okay, supaya air dah surut dan uh, apa, we are going to uh, do our daily life practices macam biasa. <coughs> okay, for today kita akan tengok on the um, B and T lymphocytes. Boleh dengar saya tak? Okay, so untuk B and T lymphocytes, uh, at least the learning objective is you are able to explain the components in innate and juga adaptive immunity, distinguish the physical, chemicals and cellular barriers that involve immunity. Okay. Um, it's included, Afrika, uh, the B cells development, activation and also differentiation, the ontogeny including the antigen presenting molecules, the T cell receptor, the thymic selection positive and negative. So for the B cells development, activation and differentiation, okay, the most important part is how um, the B cells are uh, being produced from the bone marrow. So later, which later on, uh, I'll show you, uh, saya ada bagi posted dalam chat box yang on the, the B cells and T cells activation and uh, differentiation from the YouTube that being produced uh, um, two years ago. So you can have a look on. Uh, actually, that one is uh, part of the, it's not part of the, it's more or less the, the conclusion or summarize for this particular topic for B cells development, activation and differentiation is about six minutes. Uh, also, I think the, the video. And the plasma cells are clones mature into plasma cells. The B cells are especially are found in the splenic red path, limb nodes, the module, medulla and bone marrow. And where later on the terminal differentiation states of the B cell so later they can migrate to the modular uh, modular records where their sole function is to secrete antibody for especially for for the b cell this is how it looks like so nanti you guys boleh tengok from my video on the youtube how the process and overview this is an overview of b cell development in the bone marrow i'm sure that the video will help you to understand more and how the process takes place okay starting from um the development at the point, the process, the, produ uh, the production of B and T cells dalam our bone marrow, in which later where are they going? Especially the thymus, they are going to travel to thymus to be matured. Untuk figure of B cell differentiation, okay, this is how it looks like dalam bentuk yang besar at the point in a big picture. Uh, okay, and you can see that how it started from the hematopoietic stem cell in the bone marrow differentiation into B cells, di mana daripada hem, uh, hematopoietic uh, stem cells, they will become a lymphoid uh, progenitor. Lepas tu, this particular lymphoid progenitor will be divided into two cells, which are B cells dan juga the T cells. Okay. Untuk the B cells, okay, the first thing first adalah bagaimana uh, they will go and uh, finally reach the first check, uh, check, uh, checkpoint, same goes to the, the T cells. And then which later, once they settle at the first checkpoint, they will go straight away to the second uh, second checkpoint. And then later, um, they receive a signal from the BCR at the point they do have a B cell receptor on their surface and then later will become ataupun mature as a, a B cell. Sama juga dengan T cells. They will becoming a helper T cells dan juga either hypos T cells ataupun killer T cells. Okay, untuk ontogeny of uh, the B cells. Okay, I'm sure that this notes already been uh, shared with you kan? Ke belum? Dah share ke belum? Dah <laughs> 
Ha? Dah ke belum? Dah, dah. Belum. Dah. Ha? Dah ke belum? Ada yang belum, ada yang dah. Okay. So, um, the ontogeny, they do have uh, two checks point from the, the production, uh, the starting from the hematopoietic cells, stem cells, sehinggalah kepada tolerance check point ataupun the second check point until they become a mature cells. So, so this is all the process uh, in um, in details. Okay, the B cells protein membrane on K. On the surface of the B cells, there are the B cell receptor ataupun we call it as a BCR, di mana merupakan a transmembrane receptor protein located on the outer surface of the B cells. Okay, we do have the B cells. This is the B cell, for example. Okay, and then they do have the receptor. This is the receptor. So this is what we call the BCR here. Okay. The BCR. Okay, when B cells is activated by its first encounter with an antigen that binds to its receptor, ataupun kita panggil coordinate antigen, the cell can proliferate and differentiate to degenerate a population of antibody secreting plasma B cells and juga memory B cells. Okay, remember that previously we have learned about the um, how the B cells, uh, which later can be um, divided into two cells, two types of cells, which they are becoming a plasma B cell and juga memory cells, which plasma cell later can produce an antibody to um, react toward any antigen. Okay, the B cell receptor on okay on the surface of the B cells here has two crucial functions upon interaction with an antigen. One is a signal transduction involving changes in receptor oligomerization. The second one is to mediate, okay, as a mediator ataupun media internal, internalization for subsequent processing of the antigen that you can present in peptides to help a T cell. So they do have the two functions for the BCR on the surface that Normally on the surface of the B cells untuk bagi signal dan juga untuk uh, media international subsequent processing antigen dan juga antigen presenting peptides kepada T helper cell. So one, yes, siapa yang raise hand? Sorry doctor, we don't have the note yet. Siapa yang kata ada tadi? Saya, saya ingat kata, saya tengok balik tak ada. Tadi, tadi, doktor share chapter 3 and 4 only. Okay, so hang on. Thank you, doktor. Tadi cakap ada, lepas tu tak ada. Saya salah tengok, doktor. <laughs> Sekejap now, saya share dekat, don't forget to scan the QR code for the kehadiran. Siapa yang belum ada, ramai lagi kot ada belum ada. Okay. Right. <laughs> so the B cells or beta uh, B cell receptors are required for normal antibody production, and also, um, is there any defects on this particular BCR signals? may lead to immunodeficiency dan juga B cell malignancy. So it won't functioning at all, right? So itu adalah antara the mo the, the functions of the B cells uh, receptor. Okay, untuk antigen addition molecules ataupun for Ig membranes, uh, ada cell addition molecules uh, which are proteins located on the surface, okay, involved 
uh, in binding with other cells or with the extracellular matrix or ACM in the process called cell adhesion. The mana this protein are typically membrane receptors and are composed of three domains, uh, an intracellular domain that interacts with the cytoskeleton, a transmembrane domain that juga extracellular domain that interact either with the CAM of the same kind ataupun homophilic binding. What does it mean by homophilic? Ataupun with other CAM or extracellular matrix which is heterophilic binding. Remember? Apa itu homophilic dan juga heterophilic? Okay, that's this the most important thing is about the the protein ataupun the cell addition molecules yang located on the surface of the the BCR. Ata, sorry, the the B cells. The family of CAM are the few families belongs to four protein families Ig, okay, namely Ig, super family uh, Ig SF CAMs. The integrins, the cat hearing, dan juga the selecting. Ig immunoglobulin superfamily. So ada empat family dekat sini. Right? Pertama, Ig immunoglobulin superfamily, the integrins, the cat hearings, dan juga the selectings. One classification system involved the distinction, this distinction between calcium independent CAM dan juga calcium dependent CAM. Manakala intergreens dan the Ig superfamily CAMs do not depends on the calcium dependence, while cat herins dan selectin dependent depends on the, cal uh, the calcium dependent. Ataupun in other word, in addition, intergreens participate in cell matrix interaction, while other CAM families participate in cell to cell interaction. CAM Tugas dia adalah untuk promote cell to cell and cell to matrix interaction di mana dia dia big group based on molecular structure dan juga biological feature which is kita ada empat just now iaitu inter uh, immunoglobulin superfamily the integrins the cat herins the the, the, uh, the cat herins dan juga the selectins dan semuanya bergantung kepada ataupun big group based on molecular structure dan juga biological features. Okay, this is the, the example of uh, the components on the cell surface. We have receptor here. We have the adhesion molecular p selectin. We have anchor proteins tissue here and here, for example, and then we have the platelet granules is either in the bluish ataupun the greenish one. And this is almost the white ataupun the pinkish one. We do have phosphor Tidylizerine PS, okay, dan juga uh, we have the nucleic acids. Uh, Kalau for the uh, figure, this one shows that um, CD44, which later will be part of our, um, normally they are involved during the firm adhesion that you can intravascular crawling to mediate transmigration of the T cells, okay. This is the basement of the membrane, for example, that will be attached. And then the CD44 selalunya terlibat dalam firm adhesion dan juga intravascular crawling to mediate transmigration of the T cell. Okay, this is how it, it looks like, the process. First one is firm adhesion. Okay, we can see that the CD44, they make a hole ataupun the grip uh, to the endothelium. Remember, see here the endothelium. This is the capillary rumen, and then the whole cells will start to intravascular crawling. So they try to get into the cells, masuk ke dalam, which later, this is the, the CD4 akan maintain or remain to the endothelium in order to make sure that they will firmly grab this particular endothelium before next action. Untuk signal transduction molecule adalah merupakan proses which a chemical ataupun physical signal is transmitted through a cell as a series of molecular event. Most commonly protein phosphorylation which ultimately results in a response. Di mana protein ni selalunya akan responsible for detecting any stimuli ataupun stimulus that generally term receptor although in some cases the term sensor is used. Right? 
So in multicellular organism, signal transduction pathway have evolved to regulate cell communication in a wide variety of ways. Manakala each component ataupun node of a signaling pathway is classified according to the role it play with respect to the initial stimuli. Okay. All the factors that involve for the, um, the process so that the process will take place adalah seperti stimuli, ligands, mechanical force, osmolarity, temperature and also lights. So that's why um, every single one of us has to make sure that we are our body to be in a very good condition in order to make sure that all these factor can play a crucial role in order for every single cells in our body to respond for any uh, so any consequences that will occur later okay this is all the receptor or rose baru masuk the receptor we are um, normally we have two factors which is external dan juga internal receptor the manner for the external receptor, including tyrosine and histidine kinase, integrin, two light receptor, and juga ligand gated ion channel. In it, I'm sure that you guys have learned from your uh, maybe uh, cell molecular, cell molecular, ataupun cell biology subject. And the color for the internal receptor, including the nuclear receptor, uh, for example, non polar hormones, steroid hormones, testosterone, and juga progesterone. Um, derivative uh, contohnya seperti vitamin A dan juga vitamin D cytoplasmic receptors both are soluble protein for internal receptor localized within their respective area. Untuk initiate signal transduction pula the ligand must pass through the plasma membrane by passive diffusion ini semua pun dah belajar dalam cell biology ataupun molecular biology Wells ligand adalah merupakan ion or molecule which functional group they are a functional group yang will binds to a central metal atom to form a coordination complex so this is the ligand that normally will help ataupun they are merupakan an ion ataupun molecular or functional group untuk bind to a central metal ion Okay, for signal transduction molecule, this is how it looks like an overview, how the process takes place. Okay, we have the signal molecules outer of the membrane, ataupun outside of the cells. And then we do have on the plasma membrane, we have the reception, ataupun receptor. So which receptor can notify the signal molecule, so then they will bind together, right? So inside the cell's membrane ataupun the cells are the cytoplasm which the second place ataupun the second process that will take place adalah transduction di mana this particular receptor with the signal molecule will get into the cells ataupun the cytoplasm and this is what we call the signal transduction pathway until there will be activated of cellular responses. So the third stage adalah response. So this is how it looks like when you have a look on this one ataupun in a bigger picture, the signal molecule, the first messenger, and this is our G protein link receptor on the surface of our cells, right? So they come up with the GTP, all the all the energy, okay, they need um, NADPH and so on and so forth, including the phospholipase C, and which later they have ataupun they are going to transport it into the IP3 gated calcium channel which uh, at the endoplasmic reticulum surfaces. Okay, nanti kita akan tengok on the next chapter. So this is just introduction for this. Untuk antigen presenting molecules merupakan accessory cells that is a cells normally display antigen complex with major histocompatibility complex or MSC on their surface. Ini the process is known as antigen presentation di mana selalunya the T cells can recognize or may recognize this complex using their T cells receptor. So therefore, 
these cells process antigen and present them to the two to the T cells. Okay, tadi kita dah tahu uh, on the surface of the B cells we do have ataupun they do have the B cell receptor. Whilst for the T cells they do have T cells receptor. So this is immature CD4 T cells, right? And then at one time they recognize. Uh, ataupun they were been introduced ataupun be approached by the antigen presenting cells yang telah pun eat any uh, antigen and then that's why after that they were uh, fused together with the head from MSC class 2. So this is the antigen inside and then after there were um, the, the fusion between uh, the antigen presenting cells and the T cells, the naive T cells ataupun immature CD4 T cells which later that particular, the CD4 akan becoming matured. Mula-mula dia tak matured but after the uh, the arrival of the antigen presenting cells yang telah pun recognize the antigen earlier or they engulf the antigen earlier. So then once they fuse together, so therefore the immature CD4 T cells akan become matured one. So then the whole process of the the antigen uh, presenting cells, including the antigen inside uh, the presenting cell, will be distributed ataupun kita paskan kepada CD4 T cell tadi. So, they will become mature T cell ataupun helper T cell is either TH1 ataupun TH2. Okay, antigen presentation stimulates the T cells to become either cytotoxic CD8 plus cells ataupun helper CD4 T cells. Okay, again, we have two types of immature T cells, right? Remember, either CD4 T cells ataupun CD8 T cells. Again, the same antigen presenting approach them. And then for the CD8 T cells, normally uh, uh, the major histocompatibility uh, complex that involve ataupun yang akan be there adalah uh, from the group of MSC class 1 versus MSC class 2 for CD4 T plus immature. Okay, ada dua. So again, which later, once they fuse and transfer from uh, the antigen, transfer from the antigen presenting cells, so this particular immature CD8 T cells akan become immature cytotoxic T cells ataupun T cells. Okay, so uh, immature CD8 T cells, once they mature, they become mature cytotoxic T cells. Untuk immature, uh, immature CD4 T cells, once they mature, they will become mature helper T cell, either TH1 ataupun TH2. Okay, so the APCs, remember the APCs are antigen presenting cells. They are, we have a professional or, um, uh, or sometimes we have a mature subset. Okay, the APC, we have two groups, the professional APC. Okay, yang pro dan juga amateur one. The APC including monocytes, macrophages, dendritic cells dan juga B cells. Okay, fully committed to antigen presentation as an integral part of their function in the generation of the immune response. Manakala the uh, uh, amateur subsets including endothelial cells, fibroblasts, glial cells, pancreatic beta cells, keratinocytes dan juga thyroid cells. Selalunya, it presents antigen only under selection condition. Okay, selected condition. Untuk antigen presenting cells, normally they will break down large molecule weight antigen or they can break down large molecular weight antigen into 10 to 30 amino acid fragments for loading onto HLA class 1 and class 2 molecules later on. Okay, untuk reflection, how the process takes place. Okay, this is how the process takes place. You can have a look here. Bagaimana cell, cell starts to cooperate model for triggering T and B cell. Bagaimana mula-mula kita punya antigen untuk trigger the T and the B cells. Sebab originally the T and B cells that have been produced okay, from the hematopoietic cells adalah dalam bentuk immature unless which later they will be triggered by the APC yang recognize any particular antigen first dan juga dah engulf the antigen first. Okay, 
So the APC will brought ataupun uh, they will bring the antigens that are being engulfed inside their body to any T dan juga B cells that readily available as our portraits. Okay, process presentation of protein antigen. Selalunya protein antigen enter the antigen presenting cells. Okay, selalunya what we have learned from our school, uh, the macrophages selalunya akan engulf any antigen, right? So therefore, inside the macrophages akan ada the protein antigens ataupun any types or dia punya proteins that will be engulfed together. So then akan present kepada APC which we have two types just now, the professional or the amateur one. So this one, the monocytes, macrophages, then the cells, the B cells adalah the professional APC by endocytosis ataupun phagocytosis via the two processes. Uh, later, the protein antigens undergo polypeptide degradation ataupun pro, uh, proteolytic process, processing of antigens dan the peptide fragments bind to MSC class 2 molecules of the APC and are transported to their surface as peptide MSC complex. So class 2, definitely uh, it should be ataupun this particular APC akan recognize group untuk class 1, uh, class 2 sorry. Class 2 dia akan recognize apa? Which MSC? Tadi. Tak ingat dah. Okay, untuk MSC class 2, there will definitely immature CD4 plus T cell. Kan? MSC class 2. Manakala later, um, the activation for the activation of the T cells by antigen, they will engage of the CD4 T cell receptor. Okay, with the CD4, remember, the complex is TI ataupun T cell CD3 complex with the CD4 MSC class 2 association dan juga intracellular interaction of addition molecule. And the second signal adalah where kita punya T cells akan uh, produce akan ataupun release lymphokine ILL1 will be released out. Then proliferation dan juga lymphokines also been released. Manakala activation of the B cells, um, they were activated the T cells, uh, activated T cells akan secrete interleukin 4 dan juga interleukin 5. Uh, seterusnya, the pro uh, proliferation of the B cells followed by the differentiation of the B cells into antibody secreting plasma cells dan juga uh, another one will become a memory B cells. Okay, so untuk T cell receptor uh, structure, okay, usually it will be found on the surface of our T cells. The binding between TCR dan juga antigen peptides if uh, is of relatively low affinity and is degenerate. So therefore, many TCRs recognize the same antigen peptide dan juga many antigen peptides are recognized by the same TCR. So dia boleh kenal and then reuse it later. Sebab dia tak akan dimusnahkan. Cuma dia akan bring back ataupun bawa the T cells tu akan bawa kepada um, uh, the combination ataupun the fuse between uh, in, uh, with the B cells. Lepas tu the B cells ataupun uh, the plasma cells yang akan produce the antibody untuk um, secrete all ataupun uh, break down all the proteins of the antigen and then which later will be discard from our body system. Okay, this is how it looks like for the T cells and juga B cells antigen receptor. Okay, this is our, the B cells. This is the, the T cell receptor. We have, this is in, uh, uh, the recognition, the B cells like change, have we changed? And this is the immunoglobulin ring. Remember that we have a complex of the, the receptor in order to make sure that they will, uh, uh, so that they can be activated and then work properly and nicely. The TCR is a disulfate linked membrane anchor heterodimeric protein, which normally consisting of the highly variable alpha, right? Heavy change, 
dan juga beta change expressed as part of a complex with the invariant CD3 change complex. Manakala the T cells akan express the receptor referred to as a alpha beta or alpha beta T cells through a minority of T cells which will be expressed as alternative receptor yang formed by variable gamma, gamma, alpha, gamma dan juga delta change. This is a delta change referred as gamma delta T cells. Okay, to find it further, you can have a look on this particular references. Okay, tengok. We have the T lymphocytes. We have the CD8 here. Definitely for CD8, we have the MSC class 1. And this is any cells that are, um, that will be recognized by, by this particular T lymphocytes. The antigen presenting cell, any cells here. Okay, we have the MSC class cells on the antigen presenting cells. And then we have the CD8 definitely including ataupun dia punya complex adalah between CD8, MSC class 1, uh, the T-cell receptor dan juga the peptides. Untuk sites of T-cells differentiation, uh, everyone knows that the T-cells adalah originated from the bone marrow that akan mature ataupun travel up to the thymus which later the thymus uh, will multiply okay dalam thymus multiply dan juga differentiate into helper into a few more uh, t sub subsets of the t cell including helper t cells regulatory t cells or cytotoxic t cells or becoming a memory t cells and then they will send back to the peripheral tissue or circulated in the blood or lymphatic system in order to have our defense uh, mechanism. Okay, untuk reflection, you can see that how it started, the production, um, the formation of our T cells and juga B cell. We have, this is the stem cells in red bone marrow give rise to undifferentiated lymphocytes. This is our red bone marrow. The second one, once been produced ataupun from the hematopoietic stem cells, they will divide it into T cells ataupun the B cells. Okay, the, B, the T cells undifferentiate, uh, undifferentiated lymphocytes or these T cells are can travel up to the, T, uh, the thymus which later they will become a T cell, mature T cell once been uh, triggered by any antigen presenting cells. Sama juga dengan B cells. I can travel into our blood transport ataupun blood system. So which later they'll become a B cells uh, dalam kita punya limb nodes. Okay. This is how the process takes place and then the differentiation takes place. Boleh tengok dalam the video uh, on YouTube as a uh, link posted previously. Okay. This is how the interaction between these two cells. Why and how does it happen? Okay. We need lots of complement or other protein complex in order to make sure that this particular from the immature T cells will become mature T cell. Okay, mula-mula dia tak mature. Macam kita lah naif, right? Bila dah besar sedikit or towards our teenage age, so we will become more uh, mature person. Okay, so then they have, they need a CD40, uh, L, CD2, they need the TCR definitely, um, the TCR already on the surface of the T cells, uh, the CD4, the LFA1, the CD28 was for the APC that consists of uh, ataupun dah go through any phagocytosis process, for example, like the macrophages and that engulf them, uh, engulf the antigen. So definitely they will go and try to find their friends. So their friends in this case adalah either T cells ataupun the B cells. So for this one adalah the T cells and then this is the MSC that we produce on the surface of the APC, the ICAM1, the P712, the LFA3, then you can see the CD4, CD40 that will attach at combine with the CD40L. So this all the interleukin or the protein uh, components that already been isolated then you can identify uh, by the previous scientists. And more study needs to be done on this particular uh, feel. Okay, how do T cells recognize an antigen? Macam mana dia nak kenal? Okay, 
Killer T cells recognize small fragments of micro, microorganism or antigens on the surface of other cells using T cell antigen receptor. We have the T cells on the different surfaces, right? So each T cells express a unique T cells antigen receptor (TCR), which can recognize microorganism derived peptides presented on surface on cell surface of major histocompatibility complex protein. So kita ada the T cells receptor. Kita ada CD8 definitely it will combine with the MSC class one. So CD8 dia punya pair ataupun partner adalah MSC class one. Whilst for the CD4 dia punya partner adalah MSC class two. Okay, this is a somatic cells, the cell membrane. For example, like virus infected cells, any types of cell that be infected. Okay, and manakala this is the antigen presenting cell membrane. Uh, contohnya the macrophages. Okay, this one adalah untuk somatic cells yang selain daripada antigen presenting cells yang dua tadi tu. We have the professional one and also the um, uh, the mature uh, amateur one. Okay, and this is our T helper cell. This is the cell, and on the surface the other. This is the surface of the helper T cell. They do have the TCR. Right, and this is the antigen, the process one, the antigen process. For example, like from uh, this particular antigen presenting cells, the APC, the macrophages does engulf this particular antigen. So therefore, they do have the MSC class two, and then they will bring all the peptides of the antigens that have been break down a little bit to the surface, ataupun through the MSC class two, and then waiting or waving to the the T receptor of any helper T cell. So they will come close to the cells. So therefore, the T helper cell akan starts to bind with this particular process antigen. Sama juga dengan any other components ataupun the complex that available from the helper T cell. Same goes to the cytotoxic cells ataupun CD8. Remember tadi, CD8 plus T cells, once they mature, they become a cytotoxic T cell. Ingat tak? Okay, untuk the differentiation of the APC interaction with MSC, tengok dekat sini, I'm sure that from the explanation just now, you can imagine how this uh, differences uh, interaction with the MSC telah pun berlaku. For example, like for CD8 uh, T plus, uh, definitely they will bind with the MSC class, class 1. Same goes to this one. And then once they're mature, they're becoming the CD8 plus cells are can becoming a cytotoxic T cells. While for this one, untuk CD4 T plus, once they are uh, matured ataupun activated, so uh, just before that, the process they are can combine with the MSC class 2 molecule. And then which later they're becoming a helper T cells. Okay. The process of maturation dan juga infection. So boleh tengok dekat sini. And then later kita akan go through uh, more uh, details. Boleh tengok dulu. Mana kala for thymic selection ada dua positif dan juga negatif selection. Okay. Contohnya the thymocytes dalam thymus akan ada thymic APC rep, uh, presenting cell peptide uh, MSC. Okay, kalau untuk negative selection, dia tak akan boleh bind. Uh, selalunya dia akan be, uh, ataupun the process of apoptosis akan berlaku. Manakala yang positive selection, this particular uh, um, APC akan uh, uh, recognize selepas tu dia akan jadi mature T cell. Okay, dia depends kepada the APC tu nak, nak pilih siapa. Okay, katakanlah they do have 10 in our cells. 10 T cells. Uh, immature T cells at the same time. So suddenly this time APC presenting self peptides MSC ni, uh, they say that they want to choose the, the immature T cells yang nombor lima. So the rest ataupun ada maybe four or five of them akan become uh, apoptosis sebab dia adalah negative selection. Sebab they say that this particular present, uh, um, uh, APC cakap uh, they are not suitable for this particular antigens punya peptide. So, uh, they will become a negative selection. So, the rest akan uh, mengalami ataupun will uh, undergo the process of 
apoptosis ataupun mati. So yang the positive one ataupun being selected one akan become a mature T-cell. So untuk penerangan, you can baca yang dekat sini. Okay, sama juga for for this one. Again, for negative selection of the B-cell, sama juga the process happen. Okay, yang mana um, among maybe thousands or hundreds of uh, B-cells that been produced, so therefore they will be they choose ataupun dia akan choose a few to becoming their positive selection. Yang negative selection sama ada akan jadi cause autoimmunity ataupun been discard out ataupun akan go through the process of apoptosis. Okay. Bila yang dah mature yang dipilih ataupun positive selection, dia akan uh, um, maturation dan juga seeding proses akan berlaku and then finally the binding of pathogenic peptides to MSC leads to high avidity interaction with the TCR dan juga result in the T cells activation yang tak diperlukan ataupun it's negative or uh, not been selected um uh, there will because otherwise could cause autoimmunity kalau terlalu banyak the autoimmunity uh, becoming uh, an autoimmunity maybe due to the condition of our body system so therefore sometimes it will can cause an autoimmune disease. So later you akan tengok the autoimmune disease apa akan jadi kepada badan kita. Okay, this is all the process untuk the the selection and also the the apoptosis uh, uh, will help will take place later dan juga this one adalah untuk negative selection. Okay. Again um, another explanation for the positive dan juga negative selection. Okay, untuk positive selection permits the survival of only those T cells whose TCRs are capable of recognizing self MSC molecule. Yang tak capable, yang dirasakan macam tak sesuai ataupun very weak. So they will undergo uh, an apoptosis processes ataupun not being selected or as a negative selection. So therefore, uh, this particular um, selected ataupun the positive selection cells uh, akan create a self MSC restricted repertoire of T cells di mana cells that fail positive selection are eliminated mesti been eliminated within the timers by the process of apoptosis kalau tidak been eliminated so therefore towards the end the accumulation of this particular negative selected cells uh, akan accumulate in our body system so towards the end they boleh can cause autoimmune diseases Untuk negative selection, eliminate, eliminate T cells that react too strongly with self MSC or with self MSC plus self peptides. Di mana bearing high affinity receptors for self MSC molecules alone or self antigen presented by self MSC, which result in self tolerance. Okay, self tolerance. So that's why uh, there will be uh, more consequences later on, but still depends on our body condition. Okay, it's, uh, it is extremely important factor in generating a primary T cells repertoire that is self tolerance. Okay, so this is the the B uh, the B lymphocytes. Okay, how does it looks like for CD4? Definitely, they will bind or become a complex with MSC class two with uh, with bound peptide ataupun the antigen yang the process antigen. Okay, the positive selection. See between the differences between these two and then the negative selection. Okay. Um, I also supplies with the for further reading for you guys to have a look. Okay. And don't forget to, um, to read further and then try to understand further with uh, the supplies material that been uh, provided. Okay, so um, once you, upon your return from the midterm break, um, kita akan run for test one. Remember, we have, we are going to have two tests. It's supposed to be this week, tapi sebab uh, you handle uh, the subject. Okay, so those who are going home for the semester break, make sure that you alert all the weather forecast information from time to time in order to make sure that we are um, uh, at a safe pace. Okay, so about uh, still the not permit yet 
uh, about our weather. It's just the beginning of the, the monsoon season, actually. Right? So, any question? Sebelum kita... Okay.